Howdy. I got my coffee. Sorry, guys. I was talking to my mom this morning. Shall third and and Bethel. Oh, turn your passion oh. for gaming into an exciting career with Miami University's online masters in esports management. Gain a foundation in a wide breadth of esports areas from team management and tournament. Guys, perfect timing. I got my coffee. We're ready to go. This is great. I'm so excited to see more about Farina. I'm so excited for all this. Okay, 10 minutes. I have to hang up, excuse me. I hope everyone watching the, um, what do you call it? I hope everyone watching the um, Honkai live stream really enjoyed. Link, hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Ignore my unmade bed. I was quite literally sleeping in it like five seconds ago. Greg and Link, thank you guys both for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. I'm so excited. Not only am I extra excited because it's been, you know, a week delayed, but I'm so excited about Farina. Like, you have no idea. This will make all, all of my sleepless night so worth it in just a moment. I know the art is beautiful. Like board, thank you for the follow. Welcome to stream. How are you today? You see, I actually don't have that many pulls saved. Oh, I have Sorry. Uh, so it's on Twitch. If you just go to twitch.tv slash Genshin Impact Official, you can watch live stream. You can also watch it here with us in about seven minutes. But you can watch it right here. But if you don't want to watch it with um, my big head in the corner, then that's fine too. Let me full screen it. Anyways, sorry, before I got distracted. Um, I only have about i think now i have 55 wishes saved um so i don't know if that's enough for soft pity considering 955 what do you mean no i just have 55 pulls for for prina i have around 55 pulls mm Hmm. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's enough. I um I have like three pity, so <laughs> no, but I have some Genesis crystals saved. As long as I win my 50-50, I'm not going to go for her weapon most likely. So as long as I win my 50-50, I should be fine in theory. In theory, because I have some Genesis crystals saved. I have like a 10 pull or two. So that should make up. That should make up for everything else. Yeah, I'll read soft pity. I'll be fine. So I think I think I have around like. No, I'm. I think I have like six thousand Genesis crystals left though. So I should be okay. <laughs> Cause I spent like just a little bit. Remember, but then we got Nouvellette early, so I just stopped spending them. The C one Nouvellette. I know. Oh, I did finish the battle pass, but I didn't buy it yet. So I have to buy it. Oh, once I buy the battle pass, I'll be fine. Because I'll also get the extra fates as well. 
Oh. Stunning by now. I might not even need to touch my Genesis crystals. That would be nice. I'd like to be able to save them for like a rainy day. Alice Rain, thank you for the follow. Welcome to stream. I hope you're doing well this morning or evening, depending on. I know I have to buy it like today. I should have bought it already. This battle pass name card cute. Not this one. So I'm not going to buy the um $20 one. I'm just buying the 10 But I think, I mean, maybe the next one will be. You know what it is? I have to buy it um on stream on Sunday. Which, by the way, I th I'm thinking we could either do Abyss on Sunday. But I know we just did Abyss on Tuesday because I, I did it late. So we can either do Abyss on Sunday or New The Let's Story Quest. It, I think doing New The Let's Story Quest would be better. So that way, at least, although I'm not caught up on exploration, at least I'm like fully caught up on all the story quests before the next update. Because I can do Spiral whenever, you know what I mean? I don't know. Has anyone who's done New The Let's Story Quest? We did Rizzly's. We did that last Sunday, I believe. I think. I don't remember. We did. You know what? It, it was on one of those bonus streams I did last week. Because I was supposed to do um FNAF. But then I had to swap FNAF. Because one of my friends wanted to use the game on my account. And we do Steam Share. So I, I let her use my Steam account. So I couldn't do FNAF. So then I swapped and did Ridsley's. Yeah, so that way Darcy wouldn't yell at me. <laughs> Is it good? I heard I heard New Blitz is very good. I haven't watched FNAF yet. I do have to go watch that. You know what it is? I don't like to go to the movie theater anymore until like movies have been out for at least two weeks because people don't know how to behave in movie theaters. People are loud, they talk, they eat, like they're a little nuts. People do not know how to behave in movie theaters anymore. And I have no patience, so I just, I like to wait until the movie's been out for a minute. So that way, it's a little boring at first, but it gets good. I mean, I'm really excited. I need chapstick. My lips are so chapped. I'm sorry, guys. Also, sorry, I sound probably, like, so low energy. I'm just very tired. <laughs> so I apologize for sounding like a crackhead or something, whatever I sound like. Where's my chapstick? Good morning, Mark. I know. People have no decorum. Like, on my life, people do not know how to behave in public anymore. I think it was after COVID. After, since, ever since COVID, people do not know how to act in public settings. So I don't like going to the movies a lot of the time. Only two minutes, guys. I took like an hour long nap. Um, which is great considering I have to go to work. <laughs> yeah, see, I just prefer to do streaming nowadays. Like, obviously, I love to see a movie in the theaters and like it's so much more fun. But people are like so like alarming and their behavior is just alarming. <sighs> y'all look at my unmade bed this is just not right you know what? i have a minute let's go fix that because it's just not y'all look at me in my pajamas and my oversized and stained sweatshirt El Max, the way you talk is so cute and british i only go to the cinema if i really care for the film so british That was bothering me. Forty-five seconds. Let me just make sure the volume's on. Here we go. Okay, so we should be able to hear it. The mic volume's all the way up. All right, we should be good. Oh, I'm so excited, Farina. We're getting Farina news, guys. 
Look, it's all about her. It's all about you, girl. On your 16th birthday. Pay attention to you, girl. Everybody else says you say. Oh. Though it appears that you've managed to win over part of the crowd, some of your testimony doesn't add up. You can be rest assured that I, Farina, the god of justice, will get to the bottom of this matter. No detail shall escape me. Yes. Oh, I don't know if Darcy That sounds will perfect. Go. A god must be firm. A god must not allow any detail to slip through the cracks. Ahem. <clears throat> My dear citizens, just as the will of a god remains opaque to the understanding of mere mortals, Fine is so all right, too right? is truth unmoved by even the strongest of wills. I will now speak to the defendant. Leave her if you honor the values of truth, justice, and divinity, then you are compelled to provide an accurate account of your actions. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's not bad. Now what's next? Oh, she's it's so, so cute. I love her. People are going to react. What should I say during the trial tomorrow? Lady Farina, <gasps> what are you doing? Oh, never yet. Here he is, my man. <laughs> As the god of justice, it is only expected that I should remain informed of every trial and make the necessary preparations. It, is there something that you need in? If you wish to seek an audience with me, then please make an appointment with Sir Intendant Chevalmeron in advance. <laughs> She's so silly. I just According love her. According to the judgment <gasps> oh. of the Oratrice Mechanique de Nalise Cardinal, the Hydro Archive to be punished via the death sentence. What? You and I both know that there may be issues with the Primordial Sea. Everyone on the street who happened to be close to the water didn't have a chance to escape. As the water levels rose, they suddenly disappeared. Shouldn't gods be all-powerful? What's done is done. Just trust me, you're Archon. Never mind whether you can truly convince yourself to or not. <gasps> Her theme? Stop. Strange, all the same. Mm. There's something ominous about it. Stop. The water, I mean. I. The prophecy. Yes. What has been prophesized will be fulfilled. I, Marina, will use this trial to show the world Ooh, the new truth. boss. Meaning Do not resist. Justice. This judgment is fair and just. What is the meaning you would call this? You have this never been as justice. superficial as you have presented yourself Your to be. No God. more excuses. And why should we acknowledge it? So so long. Why did you deceive us? Oh my God. This isn't right. The trial of the Hydro Archon. Seem to remember the floor will now this begin. trial. Is... I now understand the true purpose behind this position. You are the devious one, Fusalor. Oh, everyone's dead. Papa, what should I do? The prophecy that you've been fretting over should not be fulfilled. I suppose this would also be the justice that belongs to you. All will eventually end in a magnificent and dramatic trial. Farewell, Nervalet. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these 500 years. Uh, I, uh... Oh, that 
surely that... Who was that? Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, let me move my camera, y'all. Get your code. Get your code, babes. Everybody, get your free modes. Get your free modes. I'm sorry. <laughs> my big head was in the way. Hello? Yeah, do you think it was the old Hydra Archon? I always jumped to the worst conclusions. For a second, I thought it was the girl from the beginning that, like, trapped our twin. I was like, no way! But that's a little dramatic. I don't think it's her, but it's somebody. This is, like, such drama. Like, I cannot. This is nuts. Hey, travelers! Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.2 special program! Ooh, Child's Master, Ooh, maybe! <laughs> I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine, and I'm joined today by Lumine, two guests yeah, to bring you the Lumine. latest news for the upcoming version. Okay, why don't you introduce yourselves? All right, yeah, sounds good. I'll start. Hey, that would everyone. be tragic if I'm she was Amber never Lee playable. Connors, the voice of Farina, and oh, I am super excited to be on this special program today. Uh, travelers already met Wait, the Hydro Archon this at the start of their Are these things pre-recorded? Or are they like the live right now? How will this special god of the Don't answer. I feel like I know the answer. The Never mind. Forget I asked. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope everyone's excited to see what happens next. I mean, I sure am. Uh, I, uh, uh, I'm at the edge of my seat. My name is Ray Chase, and I'm the voice of Nivellet, the Dragon Sovereign of Water and Udex of Fontaine. I'm sure many of you already consider Nivellet a very trustworthy partner, and I hope you look forward to seeing more of him in version 4.2. I trust yes, Nivellet with my life, sure. so if that totally. turns out yep. to be false... Okay, so next, let's I'll never dive recover. into the major content that we have coming in version 4.2. <laughs> in the intro, Farina said we need to make an appointment with Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. So, you know, she's really busy as Fontaine's Archon, and she's a pretty big celebrity at the Opera House. So, the special program team gave me an itinerary to follow, and it appears to show all of Farina's recent plans. Farina's uh -oh. recent plans? Let me guess. She's going to be going to a trial, and then another trial, and then another. <laughs> Actually, that sounds hey, about right. Hey, she has to go eat some cake in between, too. <laughs> okay, Don't be rude. the itinerary seems pretty packed. She has so to have some sweets. Let's take a look Come at on. the first item. She's a busy oh, gal. Looks like Ray called it. <laughs> wow. Mm. There is nothing more important to She's Farina than attending trials at the Opera House. But this trial is a little different from the usual. Ooh, interesting. I know, I know. I, I keep looking at the water rushing in. I'm like, what's happening? Yes, yeah, so it looks like there's some spotlights and like. Oh my god, I forgot where the last Archon quest left off. Mm -hmm. Like the water mm -hmm. being trapped. Mm -hmm. like, you know, in the thing. I completely forgot about that already. Is an eye How did I forget about from, that? From yeah. Behind the scenes, maybe? Very serious. He's always keeping an eye on stuff and always <laughs> just a little bit disappointed. <laughs> Fair. Who's got the ladies <laughs> laughing? No, I'm kidding. Okay, in version 4.2, travelers will get to experience <laughs> Act 5 of the Fontaine Archon Quest, Masquerade of the Guilty. We'll team up with Fontanian friends to delve deeper into the hurricane of events and face the impending destruction foretold by the prophecy. Travelers will gradually unveil new facts behind this crisis and encounter an evil that has been lurking in the swirling depths. Ooh. I know. I know! Ooh, swirling depths. <laughs> Very spoopy. He looks uh, so cool there. Right. Like with the, so, you know, the prophecy like the in shoulder. Fontaine is on the brink of coming true. And this is possibly the greatest crisis we've faced in our journey through to that. Definitely. In version 4.1, we learned about this precarious situation involving the rising primordial seawater. Nivellet barely arrived in time to hold back the seawater from engulfing the fortress of Meripede, but still, the water has reached Poisson. Luckily, the crisis was averted Navia. by Navia's leadership of the Spina de Rosula. Though, we probably can't dismiss the assistance provided by the Nave either. Whatever her end goal may be, it seems like she sincerely wants to save Fontaine. The day Arlecchino comes but out, y'all. There's only so much that we can say. You're gonna Travelers hate me. I'm gonna to become go the most annoying the person in the world. The clues, uh, just without and fail. Stories to come. Yes, exactly. 
So be sure to play through, uncover hidden truths, and witness this epic chapter of Fontaine's history for yourself when Act 5 of the Archon Quest becomes available. Sounds good. So yeah, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna have to do <laughs> Nubilet on Sunday. Have we so, so we're fully a caught up. Important character who's been missing from the Fortress of Meripede. Oh, yeah. Gibsley? Uh, you mean Child? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Where's Child? Uh, I forgot we about Child. All over the fortress for him. <laughs> yep. I. I guess we'll just have to live with the suspense for a little longer. <laughs> that ideal, idiot. He's like lost fine. in like a different dimension. <laughs> of course. Uh, Typical. But we saw Child appear at the end of the last version of our conquest, so it probably won't be long until we see him again. Okay, okay. good. Mm -hmm. But we really need to talk about Farina. What? She's confronted Why? with a crisis <laughs> <laughs> because she's confronted with a crisis that's tough for even one of the great elemental dragons. Hmm. Of course, Fontaine will have the traveler's help, but what choices will our Hydro Archon make in the face of the crisis? Uh, uh, oh, well, it's not that I doubt just Farina's like judgment. The prophecy itself, all will be revealed at the fated time. I <laughs> just, I don't know. Knowing Farina, you know I mean? perhaps like, she'll have made some. Uh, we don't know her well enough to know if she, she can like make like mm. real like. Once again, disappointed. Good judgments. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? No Come on, guys, have some faith. <laughs> okay, to bolster everyone's confidence in Farina, let's learn a little more about this one-of-a-kind archon. Well, I guess my confidence is going to be <laughs> built are now. Why just standing there with your mouth gaping? Huh. You must be stunned <laughs> and at a loss for words. <laughs> Understandable. Oh it my is God, look at her I, animations. after all. How Fontaine's cute. most beloved star, Serena. I'm on so a very cute. tight schedule, so you're lucky to even get an appointment with me. Oh Guys, she gosh. made time for us. I love her mm. outfit. Yes. Oh, and, and her eyes, like each of them are different. She's got these little eyelashes and yes. her hat. <laughs> oh, you know, it's amazing. You'd expect for a Hydro Archon that she'd have the best drip. Oh, oh. yes. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, he kind of ate with that okay, one. I'm not going to lie. What? It seems <laughs> as if she's always dressed like she's about to attend a performance. You know what I mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, funny. that's Fontaine's biggest celebrity for you. And speaking of drip, Let's take a look at her combat abilities. <laughs> Yay! Um, remind me about the split into two thing during the next break because I want to talk about that. Such a hassle. Who knew the people would adore me so much? This is her theme. It's so good. It's so good. Strike a pose. Oh my gosh. Oh it, my gosh. Like, it almost looked like Nikita's, like but like, she kind of like, like a sky of like a wall. Oh, dramatic. that is so yes. pretty. Yes. Very much. It's like all of her moves are part of a performance. Yes. Totally. Also, look at her elemental burst. Her that's presence generic really Fontaine. You know, I've been playing Fontaine without the volume on, and that's clearly my loss Wait, because so I've been missing out. The creatures that Farina summons, they look a lot like the Fontamer aberrants that we've encountered before. There's a seahorse, a crab, an octopus. And they are all so cute. Yep. Oh, I love them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Me too. Oh my gosh. No, the octopus is even wearing a hat. What a distinguished little gentleman. Um, oh, but he uh, is wearing a hat. Uh, here, Sarah. They're a oh. bit different from Fontamer aberrants, okay. uh, I would know. Uh, to my <laughs> knowledge, these creatures are Farina's, quote, honored guests. Um, oh, me talking to my, own, my imaginary friends? Player. Yes. That's crazy. <laughs> exactly. So, Elmex Farina was just he was one of these pets. That's tea nuts. Party, which is known as the Salon <laughs> Salitaire. And those creatures are actually special guests of the Salon Salitaire. Aww. Mm -hmm. And she even gave each member a name. Oh, oh my gosh. She yes. named them all. So, you've got the maid, Mademoiselle Crabaletta. <laughs> They're the best. The crab, the one that's a crab, I assume. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. And then you've got the housekeeper, Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. Oh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Prophet's and black hair and then white the here. Conferencier, Gentilhomme Usher. Oh. And oh, look at that. The last one is a stickler. Oh, Hold on, I'm blocking. Oh, look. 
okay, okay. So Let's when see. Farina said to make an She was wearing black there and then white the here. Chivalmeron, this is who she was referring to? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. I didn't know it was so cute. Exactly. Oh my god. Oh my god, Farina look at her. Few bubbles in her idol animation. Oh my gosh. That is That's so adorable. Cute. Okay, I'm sure everyone look, is look, just look. itching to know more about the skills Black. shown in that Wait. clip. So, See? Amber, why don't you take it away? Tell us everything. Yes, you got it. Yay! So, Farina is a hydro sword user. Okay. Mm hmm. Hmm. She usually defaults to an Usia Arca alignment in combat. When in this state, her elemental skill invites the three members of the Salon Solitaire. Mademoiselle Crabaletta, Sir Intendant Chevalmeron, and Gentilhomme Usher to the stage. I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> um, and, you know, these um, salon members will attack nearby opponents, prioritizing the target of the active character. Ooh. Their damage increases the more characters there are in the party over a certain HP amount. <laughs> okay, I was listening to all that, but at the very <laughs> top, you said that she usually <laughs> defaults to an Usia Arca alignment. If I'm so being honest, y'all, more than one alignment. Yes, I don't pay attention exactly. to those alignments at all. Like I know Nuvolet's skill and like Lenny's skill like does stuff, but I, I never pay attention. Numa Arca alignments. Whoa. Wow. Mm -hmm. Based on what we just saw, it seems like her Arca alignment has an effect on her other skills as well. Yes, sure does. Farina's elemental skill changes depending on whether she is aligned with Usia or Numa. That's cool. Well, that's it's where the outfit cool. change comes um, in then. After Farina so, yeah. uses her charged attack to switch to a Numa Arca alignment, her elemental skill summons the Singer of Many Waters to provide healing to nearby party members. Oh, nice. Yes. Hmm. The summons oh, created by Farina's so she's a healer, skill partially will remain at least. on the field for a period of time even after Farina is switched out. Farina's elemental burst deals damage to surrounding opponents. And when the party member's HP increases or decreases, Farina will accumulate fanfare points. <laughs> That's my trumpet. Amazing. Um, <laughs> so um, Farina increases the damage and the incoming healing bonus of nearby party members based on the amount of fanfare she has. Wow, it seems like this fighting style really suits Farina's character. It's very showy and unpredictable. Totally. I can already <laughs> showy see the and fluctuations in my team's HP bar. <laughs> that healing skill might come in handy. Yeah, for real. And um, due to her knowledge of deep water aberrants, Ooh, Farina's passive talent buff? can decrease the cooldown on abilities gained from the xenochromatic Fontamer aberrants. Ooh. Wow, you can say that again. Yeah, <laughs> and that'll make it even easier to uncover the secrets lurking in the depths. Always secrets. the secrets <laughs> lurking in the depths. Wait, we're getting a new area, right? Like oh, another new I area? I almost forgot. Um, whenever one of Farina's summons is on the field, Farina gains the ability to walk on water. Oh my gosh, wow. that is so cool. <laughs> yes. Hey, um, I actually saw that Farina's outfit changes whenever she switches between arms. No lines. way. Yeah. yeah, good eye, you're correct. It's like the Kokomi um, glitch <laughs> all over again. Remember that? When you would use her burst and you could uh, walk on water. Or can yes, you still do uh, it? So if you want to learn more about Farina, then be sure to accompany her on her story quest, the Animula Kuraji chapter. Ah, amazing! Mm. Okay, so oh, next up, glitch? we have oh. another old friend to introduce. I never pulled Kokomi. She's now able to join the traveler's party with her trusty companion, Monsieur Verite. That's right! It's, it's Charlotte. Charlotte! Yay! Oh, <laughs> Ooh, so cute! It's literally pom pom. We've known Charlotte guys. for a while now. Pom pom the in the flash. The met her during the Summoner Summit event, which took them on an adventure all over to that. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. Charlotte's hard hitting spirit and determination to uncover the truth really leave an impression, don't they? Yeah. That's right. During our journey in Fontaine, didn't she treat the traveler to a magnificent meal in order to get a scoop about Ridesley? Though she didn't end up getting the interview that she wanted in the end. Oh, we lied to her. But I don't think Ran that her will deter her. Dry. She'll always be in search of Oops. the truth. The world is her treasure chest, and only her camera. I like that journalists are essentially like professional busybodies. Like that sounds fun. Speaking of her camera, like it's your Monsieur job to get in everyone else's business. So How fun! To be her greatest okay. assistant and companion. They're friends. Charlotte's talent for photography is truly a marvel. No matter the subject or setting, her photos somehow always capture an unparalleled sense of artistry. 
The peerless Monsieur Verité turns her photos into eye-catching mementos. In fact, many Fontanians even cut the prints out of the newspaper and keep them as clippings. Oh, that's cute. so cool. And Monsieur Verité is so cute. He even has his own little hat and tie. <laughs> I know. Charlotte actually commissioned both of those items from Chiori. She even commissioned Monsieur Verité's accessories in several different styles to match different interview settings. Isn't that cute? Wow, <laughs> that is pretty thoughtful. I suppose that just shows she how much Charlotte her cherishes award her drove. own Monsieur Verité. Yes, that's, it really does. That's dedication. Okay, let's go ahead and take Respect a look that. at Charlotte's character showcase, shall we? Ooh, let's yes. Do it. If you keep your eyes peeled and your mind engaged, you'll find there's always a new story nearby just waiting to be discovered. Say cheese! Oh, that's Breaking good. News! Wow. Oh, amazing. Yeah, she okay. is really like moving around. Just a band yes. Mayu will do. Don't worry Honestly, about it. It's just what you'd expect of a reporter for the Steambird. Even her combat skills involve taking photos. Isn't that cool? Uh, yeah, that and then sense. like what so she's a like lively Nahida, character. Right? Her combat moves, like I was saying, she's moving around. Yeah. They're super yeah. dynamic. <laughs> it yes. seems like she's always on the move. <laughs> Who's on the march? Exactly. <laughs> Charlotte is an expert at applying the skills and talents that she's developed as a reporter to other areas of her life, and that includes combat. With her trusty companion, Monsieur Verité, she captures enemies from all angles, thank you, thank unleashing you. attacks while discovering and exposing their weaknesses. Yes. Honestly, I would expect nothing less from one of Fontaine's most famous reporters. Who knew cameras could do that, though? <laughs> I didn't know you could <laughs> use them as a weapon. Same. The more you know, I guess. Okay, here's some cool stuff. Charlotte's elemental skill applies snappy silhouette to opponents caught within the viewfinder of her camera. During this effect's duration, marked opponents will intermittently take damage. Whoa. Holding Charlotte's elemental skill strengthens these effects Wait. and applies focused impression to opponents instead. Mm. Now her so elemental it's, it's burst like creates right? a news flash field that continuously restores HP to party members within its range. Monsieur Verite, he's also going to join in and intermittently attack opponents during the duration of the ability. As an experienced reporter, Charlotte is an expert at adapting her methods to match the needs of her target. When paired with Fontaine characters, Charlotte receives a healing bonus. When paired with non-Fontaine characters, she receives a cryo-damage bonus. Now that is not all, there is more. <laughs> During the 4.2 special event, travelers no, can complete stink. a quest to receive a special gadget called the Zoom Lens. Ooh. When Charlotte Ooh. activates the Zoom Lens, it will trigger her passive talent called First person shutter. Oh my gosh. That's when you amazing. hold her elemental skill, the gadget will cause you to enter photo mode instead. That is so cool. Guys, yep. that is super rad. You know and how many pictures I, I take in this game? I'm about super to become cool pictures a shark at me. Oh, yeah. We are going to provide more information about the zoom lens and how to use it during the event overview portion. Oh, then? So, Farina and Charlotte will both be featured in version 4.2 Event Wishes. Ooh! In the Bye first you. half of version 4.2, we'll have Event Wishes showcasing Farina and Baiju. During this time, Ooh. Charlotte will also receive a huge drop rate boost. Huge boost. <laughs> huge boost. A new five star sword, suddenly, Splendor of Tranquil Waters. Suddenly, that weapon will means be nothing to me. The weapon event banner will not be gone. Huge sword. <laughs> In the second half of version 4.2, we'll have reruns for Sino and Ayato. Hmm. Ayato. Okay, let's take a look at what other information we can Ayato. learn from Farina's itinerary. Hmm, it looks like she's investigating something. Ooh. Oh, there's even a report attached. Tell us what it says. Okay, I will. It says, <laughs> strange rumblings have been heard in the depths of Fontaine's Guys, waters. it's me. Uh, I'm kidding. Dun, dun, um. <laughs> oh. Is here already? Oh, oh this is. Oh. Well, well, well. <laughs> it looks like 
like it's in a sea of pink and blue stars. That's so pretty. Oh, I remember this whale. That is beautiful. Well. Wait, yeah, yeah. Isn't this the whale that the traveler saw in Child's Vision at the end mm -hmm. of the version 4.1 Archon Quest? Yep, <gasps> it's the same one. After ravaging its way through the primordial sea, I'm this sure otherworldly creature has at long last broken the seal and descended upon Fontaine. Ooh, oh it's it's a real big, big. It uh, it feels like it might even burst straight through the screen. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> uh, I get this feeling uh, that this isn't the type of opponent that we can just brute force our way through, you know? Mm -mm. Damn it. Exactly. In the first Guys, I'm phase, done for. If I can't brute force my way through this thing, to target the traveler with I'm done for. With massive AOE attacks from all directions. I'm oh, sorry about my dog. Dodging is definitely it gets your excited in the mornings. Oh boy. Um. Okay. 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 So oh, yeah, there also seems fine. to be sort of a progress bar next to the fine. boss's HP mm, bar. Yeah. What's that for? Okay, since we can't outfight it, we'll have to outsmart it instead. The creature <sighs> just freed itself from captivity and is brimming with anger. So if you can find a way to capitalize on that anger, perhaps you'll also find its weaknesses. Mm. Oh, okay, wait. Is, what is somebody the fuck? being eaten? Is, uh -oh. it, is it even possible to survive something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I guess here it is. Ooh. <laughs> this is an entirely different space, it looks like. And there's a new enemy here with a massive sword. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, these summoned creatures also look vaguely familiar to me. I wonder what the deal is with all of this. Perhaps defeating this mysterious enemy within this space will be the key to defeating the whale? Travelers will need to experiment for themselves. Ooh, yeah. All truths will be revealed <laughs> in version 4.2. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Oh man, this boss looks really, really tough. Um, what happens if we, for some reason, can't defeat it? Ooh. Okay, oh, the this update actually helps with that problem. Starting from 4.2, an option will appear on the challenge failed screen to lower the difficulty of the boss if travelers are struggling huh. to defeat them during a main quest. Hopefully this provides oh, a smoother gaming the main experience class. for travelers to enjoy. Oh, I love that. Now we don't need to worry about getting stuck while trying to advance the main story. Totally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, um, that was a lot of information, wasn't it? Can we take a short little break while we have a look at the second oh. redemption code, maybe? Let me move yeah. my head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. <sighs> Bye, guys. I'm, I'm back over here. Get y'all's primos. I'm sure your Hytham will be fine, Mayu. Your Hytham's strong. I, I don't think it'll be that bad. I just, you know, would recommend bringing perhaps a Zhongli, perhaps a Bennett. <laughs> Thank you, Aura, for typing that out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's four sixteen? Oh my God, El Max, you have four hundred saved for her. Are you going for her weapon? Hello, travelers. Welcome back to the version four point two special program. Hello. Hello, hello. Yay! So we've introduced new characters, new plot again, lines, and a new boss. But I hope you're still eager for new content, travelers, because there's still more to come. Let's take a look at what other information we can learn from Farina's itinerary. Okay, aside from investigating crises, it seems like our Hydro Archon also goes on occasional excursions throughout Fontaine. <laughs> Who knew she did all this work behind the scenes? Mm, I certainly didn't. <laughs> what is a new area? Well, okay, you good. know, maybe she's just using it as I thought an that said a fatherless to tower. I was like, what? <laughs> Farina and excuses. <laughs> Typical. <clears throat> hey, it seems like the places Farina has chosen to visit this time feature some peculiar landscapes. Mm. Oh, yeah. It looks like Farina is in Erinias Forest on the east side of Fontaine. Mm. And that's right behind the Opera House. What a cool place. Ooh, look at that Although, tree. It 
does kind of look like it could be hiding some secrets. <laughs> definitely. Wouldn't be a video game if there weren't secrets. Oh, Things yeah. Things <laughs> are definitely not what they seem here. For example, strange things have been happening with the water veins around Loch Urania. As you can see, a strong windstorm has gathered around the vortex rising from the trees. middle of the lake. That's it's almost nuts. like it's preventing certain things from getting closer and forcibly pushing other things away. Hmm. And take a look at this. The foggy forest path. That's beautiful. That fog is really thick. Yeah. That's why they call it the foggy forest path. But what about <laughs> this area? The weeping willow of the lake. Ooh, it looks all withered and spooky. And the water doesn't look quite <laughs> right. Mm -mm. Like it's cloudy or something. Do you see that? Yeah. Exactly. It seems like Verena also realized something was off. It looks like she headed underwater to investigate. And what did she find? A number of contaminated bacterial mats. Uh -oh. Oh. Speaking of, mm. there are hey. always new things to discover beneath I'm not Fontaine's a weeping waters. willow, or is it because my hair looks like that? In this update, we'll encounter a new type of Fontamer aberrant, the xenochromatic so ball exciting. octopus. Ooh. Travelers can borrow its abilities to cleanse away the contamination clots and contamination cores from the bacterial mats. Pretty cool. In addition, with the help of a special device, Travelers will be able to use this creature's abilities on the surface as well. They may be the key I just to want you guys to know, puzzles, or I'm paying attention now, right? Objects. The we'll second I come across discover. one of these things in game, I'm going to go, more about the story behind the what do I do? Forest region. Be sure to check what do out I do? The That's what I'm going to do. The second I see one of these, even though I'm looking at it now, and I know what I'm supposed hint, to do, Melusine's I'm going to forget. What? Melusine's? Really? Oh! Then it would certainly be a world quest that you won't want to skip. <laughs> I'm gonna go <laughs> to the South what? Veronese Forest. You'll huh? find the Mort region. There, a singular tower stands Ooh. tall above an island in the middle of the sea. Perhaps it's also guarding some unspeakable secrets. Ooh. Actually, it looks like that's the very next stop on Farina's itinerary. So let's go check it out. Okay, I bet a bunch of travelers noticed this tower since they've arrived in Fontaine. I'm so excited that I we have finally not. get to check it out. Yes, yeah, same. So. Uh, yeah, in version 4.2, the tunnel vision. Ruin Tower is the focus of a quest series called Search in the Algae Sea. Yeah, I'm already getting overwhelmed. I'm like, oh, I gotta I explore all this. <laughs> and after unlocking four seals along its perimeter, the tower and its long buried <gasps> Ooh, secrets pretty. will be unveiled to us. Oh, amazing! Okay, it would feel great to finally demystify all the secrets churning under the seemingly calm waters. Yes, I want answers. Um, I also <laughs> We all want answers! Um, I also heard this quest has something to do with the Primordial Sea. Hmm. It seems like there's a very important and very ancient story behind it all. That is very right. New stories are always <laughs> unfolding in Fontaine, whether above water or below. And this is not limited to the two new regions in this update. The prophesied earthquake woke up new life forms in other places where destinies intersect. <gasps> Whoa, this guy's a freak with destinies. the hammer. I, that in was certain nuts. Underwater cave, new life form that was a little weaker. nuts, y'all. It has greater and more diverse powers of transformation while in combat. So don't let your guard down, travelers. Yes. Mm -mm. And some places still seem to tell the stories of events long past, no matter how long they've been abandoned. So, in this update, travelers can also look forward to the climax of the Narcissan Croix adventure questline that was introduced over the last two versions. And there might even be an unexpected surprise waiting at the end. Ooh, I think, I think the boss might be in the tower. I can't wait to see what it is. Same. All right, there's a lot to discover sure. in the new areas of the map. I but might play Farina's on update day, guys, just because I want to get this oh, wait. area it to farm like for her. To so I might. Some time with her subjects. Hmm. I might Farina's stream on launch day. Who's to say? We'll see. She might even make an appearance I I at the events skip, taking place but... in Fontaine. Speaking of, let's move on to the event portion. Woo -woo. All right. The Fontaine Fishing Association has recently posted <gasps> a commission to investigate the rumors of water imps. Oh, we got a free Fremine. Ooh, oh, that's exciting. I only got like one of him, maybe two. No. Oh. oh, and Fremine seems to be involved. That little clockwork penguin next to him must be one of his other companions. But Simone. it doesn't look like Pear. Actually, its name is Thelxy. The name comes from a Fontanian fairy tale that describes the little a terrifying shells creature that on lives his crown. So cute. Adults would use the story to keep children away from the shore. As the story goes, 
Children who play by the water are food for Thelxy to devour. Ooh. Jeepers. Yeah, <laughs> for real. <laughs> well, children must be pretty afraid of that creature. I know, right? <laughs> it does seem a little unusual for Fremenade to give this little penguin a name like that. There must be um, some other reason. Wait. Hey, does this event also have something to do with this clockwork penguin? Mm. Absolutely. In this event, we'll be helping Fremine make some improvements to this little clockwork penguin. There will be a total of three main stages to the event. As for the first stage, we'll repair the penguin by fixing its circuits and reconnecting the motherboard. Hmm. In return, the little guy will help us out on our journey. Oh, I Pretty love that. Cool. As our journey progresses, we'll collect colorful shells, corals, and other oh, items cute. which we'll use to outfit our little friend with weapons and equipment. Which brings us to the second stage of the event, using an echoing conch to search underwater and find the items that we need for the penguin. Hmm. Hmm. And, uh, you know, what what happens if we run into certain speed bumps on our adventure? You know, like monsters, Good morning, Trent. puzzles, and all that jazz. Well, it seems like the perfect opportunity for a little penguin buddy to shine. Aww. Exactly. In the third stage of the event, the clockwork penguin will help us defeat monsters lurking around a specific domain and obtain any treasures that they may be guarding. Of course, oh, the clockwork penguin will provide different buffs in each battle to help travelers emerge victorious. Whoa. Now, as for the story behind these battles, travelers will just have to find out for themselves. Let's see. After helping the penguin, the next item on the itinerary is... Oh, the cute little fungi are back! Aww. Cool. Hania, a friend we met in Sumeru, has <gasps> arrived in Fontaine oh, to promote I was, I was like, oh, we're going back to Sumeru, but I guess not. Fiesta. Oh, and it'll still be fun to see the little mushrooms. Fun, little guys, shoes. <laughs> I think I recognize some familiar faces. <gasps> Go ahead. It's time to shine. Yay! <laughs> Travelers may Bongo notice head. some differences Back in with this the update's fungi event. Aside from taking place in Fontaine, the gameplay has also been optimized. Previously, we led the little fungi in battle against Mechanicai. This time, we'll have the opportunity to challenge a whole host of powerful monsters. I miss Wind awesome. as well. Travelers will be able to command a variety Max, of fungi, the adjusting that. their movement to target different enemies. And don't forget to use marvelous gels to instruct the little fungi to unleash powerful skills. Yeah! <laughs> Travelers will hopefully enjoy playing with the fungi more than ever. Here's hoping. We, uh, actually, I have a little I note don't know what it's called, actually. They didn't... Friends. It's the note someone <laughs> well, they hope to make the little fungi and some other events permanent so travelers can play at any time, the team feels that the current design doesn't adequately sustain long-term gameplay. So, they're going to continue iterating, optimizing, and improving this event while also working hard to develop interesting content that is relevant to the overall game. I know this Thanks, is an unpopular Dibs. opinion, yeah, but thanks. I don't think this game should be permanent. Right. Or like this content, okay, you know what I mean? Let's take a look at what else Farina's itinerary has in store. Like, fun oh, mini games like this and like wind trace that people love log. like i feel like they wouldn't be I'm as special if they were around all the time some you know let me at them <laughs> 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 i wish i could but it doesn't actually involve fighting a researcher obsessed with graph adversarial technology has made great contributions to the study of counter criminal image recognition she believes that her research can help her achieve great success but her scholarly responsibilities make it difficult for her to collect the field samples that she needs. Mmm, I'm guessing <laughs> this is where the traveler comes in. <laughs> okay, you're not wrong. <laughs> but Pauline's request Typical is actually pretty reasonable. Typical traveler having to do everybody's job to for them. Rewards, simply submit Ooh. photographs of five different sample types that match the characteristic that's given on each day. Oh Sounds my god, what are these again? You can also exchange these samples with your friends. You might be able to find useful references for the samples that you need to collect in the Adventure Archive. At the end of the quest, travelers will receive a special gift from Pauline. Ooh. Mm. Did I show That's you guys right. my tweet? It's the zoom lens we mentioned during Charlotte's uh, character introduction. Oh, how fun. This is from like 1.2. To use it, just equip the two. camera and activate the zoom lens in your inventory. The zoom Maybe lens can be attached three. to all cameras obtained in the game up to this point. When equipped with other characters, the zoom lens won't be able to be used in combat, it's but old. if you switch to Charlotte and hold your elemental skill, you'll be able to snap picks with zoom lens even while fighting. Wow. You can even use it in domains. <gasps> Double woe. 
Uh, oh my gosh, that's awesome. Wait. And I bet travelers will Wait, be able to capture that's... some amazing I can take pictures in domains now. Too. Mm -hmm. And even if you miss the chance to participate in the event, there's Guys. no need to worry. Travelers will that's still be able to nuts. obtain the zoom lens after the event ends. Sweet. You know how much I love taking pictures. This is like the best news like of my Fred life. Has also learned of the existence of a domain shrouded in mist. <laughs> <laughs> Travelers who master the leyline features and put together the strongest party will be able to easily beat their opponents. Excuse now, less me. experienced travelers like myself don't need to worry either. Using trial characters hmm. and taking advantage of the buffs brought about by the leyline are also great ways to come out on top. That's right. And travelers who are I more good confident combat in their combat Can't skills complain. can choose to jump straight to the final challenge. <laughs> also, the Leyline Overflow event will return I... at the end of version 4.2. Now might it. be the perfect time to start building your parties. Hopefully, you're I... all excited for the fabulous events that version 4.2 has in store. But there are still more surprises to share. <gasps> Yay! Oh, I let's know. get into them. <laughs> Well, before we get into them, let's what? take a quick break to have a look <laughs> at the final redemption code for today. See you in a bit. I'm moving. Okay. I'm moving again, guys. <laughs> Wait, I need to find this tweet. There's a tweet of mine, and I remember this. This is why I remember that it was in 1.3, because I was taking a picture, and it was like, take a picture of something brown. And I was taking a picture of, like, a potato. And I was like, why the fuck won't it work? And I was getting so mad. Because I couldn't figure out the thing. And there was like another thing and it was like, take a picture of something like, I have to find it. And sh I showed it to you guys on stream a while ago. I don't know where it would be now. And I don't think I'll be able to find it, but so funny. Welcome back, travelers! Okay, I just took a look at Lady Farina's itinerary, and it seems we've actually reached the end. Aww, Aww. I know. Wah, wah. So, we've submitted our appointment request to Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. While we're waiting to hear back, let's see what system optimizations we have for the upcoming version. Let's get into it. Okay, so first up is the Quick Challenge feature for weekly bosses. New players or players who prefer to spend their time exploring may have yet to unlock certain weekly bosses. And it's difficult to raise new characters when you can't access the boss drops needed to ascend a certain character. Totally. Oh. In version 4.2, travelers who are at adventure rank 40 or above will have the option to quick challenge a weekly boss by navigating to the Trounce Domain section of the Adventure Handbook. Oh, that's exciting. All weekly bosses will be available to challenge, except Storm Terror and the Wolf of the North. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, now we don't have to wait to advance the story before we can level up huh. the new character's Look talents and skills. Exactly. Also, we're introducing an update to Genius Invocation TCG. Get that card game out of my face. 4.2, three new character cards and five new action cards will be added. There will also be an Accelerate Duel feature, which will provide a smoother gaming experience. Pretty cool stuff. After the version 4.2 update, deck sharing codes will also be available. Use them to show off your strongest deck or take inspiration from other travelers. That's oh, cool. That's awesome. And, you know, since the number of card combinations just keeps increasing, the number of mm -hmm. decks a player can save has been increased from 10 to 20. Ooh. Doubled. Doubled. <laughs> Double. Nice. And in addition, both the maximum number of starting slots and the number of slots unlocked at each player level upgrade have been increased from two to four. Doubled again. Double, nice. double. Double again. The double. <laughs> double, the developers double have also made a trouble. number of How's optimizations to the Genius Invocation TCG interface. Heated Battle Mode and the Forge Realm's Temper Endless Swarm will also return in version 4.2. And in addition to the updates made to Genius Invocation TCG, returning travelers will enjoy ample login rewards and exploration guidance courtesy of the Genshin Impact Project team. May those returning to Devat have a happy reunion. Aw, that's Aww. nice. Yeah. I found the Plus, tweets. a new story key privilege has also been added so that returning travelers can enjoy new story quests and hangout events. Woo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. 
Red notification dots have also been optimized. Notifications that have already been cleared will no longer reappear when logging in on a different platform. Yo. Quest optimizations oh, that's will nice. also be available in version 4.2. The first one pertains to unlocking story quests. Travelers will now get to choose whether to accept a story quest after unlocking it. Godspeed, Whoa, because nice. I I went and, and unlocked all of them the other day for no reason. So now I have like six anymore. just in my quest log. <laughs> So the update has also made really notifications about prerequisite quests even clearer, making it easier for players to proceed to certain content. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, great. Oh, and it seems like that's all we have for the latest version update. I guess that means it's time for the 4.2 special program to come <gasps> to a close. Yippee! Oh, I know. <laughs> well, there's so much exciting stuff happening, and um, I know personally, aside from all the intrigue around the story and characters, Thank you so I'm much for the resub, very jazzed for the Fun Guy event! <laughs> yes, how can you not be? <laughs> they are, keep on adding so much cool stuff to this game. For me, I love the idea of the combat camera. Um, but, oh, the combat uh, camera is going to save my life. It's going to destroy my storage on my PC, <laughs> but it's going to save my life. Uh, well, this has been so, so much fun with both of you. I'm really grateful we could all be here today together. And um, honestly, I'm just really glad that we're going to get to see how all these mysteries unfold. Mm -hmm. And maybe, yeah, if it was Ayato and Farina, I would have pulled for the weapon nice because I don't mind getting a refinement of that weapon. But the green um, but donut. That's it for the version 4.2 special program. I'm good. Thank you so much, everybody, and see you all in game. Bye. 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 I want to say bye. Bye, Lumine. Your audience with the God of Justice, Regina of Mary Waters, and the most popular celebrity of all Fontaine, Lady Farina, has been granted. The appointment time is November 8th, 2023. Please make sure to come on time as Lady Farina will be awaiting your arrival. Wow. Guys. This is the drama. This was intense. I'm not even going to lie. This was so dramatic. Fontaine really just continues to like blow my expectations of this game. Like every single time I think it can't get more exciting, like the stakes can't get higher, they do. And it's great. It's awesome. I do want to show you though cuz I did find the tweets. I showed these a while ago, but this was um this was back in 2021 when they first did this quest. <laughs> look at this. I was so mad. I retweeted it, but look. And I go, it's literally brown. <laughs> it's a fucking potato. Like and it it literally says right up here, brown creature. I'm going, it's brown. So stupid. And then hold on, there was one more. Yet. And then this one says red item. I took a picture of, I set the fire. I set the grass on fire with my Bennett. And I said, how is this not red? When first of all, it's fucking orange. Let's start there. Let's start there. That is orange. But you know what? I digress, right? This is this is the content you have to expect from me coming in your future. Because yes, it has been two years, but no, I have not gotten an ounce smarter. So <laughs> Godspeed. This will be good. <laughs> no, that was great. Oh, is it over? Or what happened? Well, I don't know what happened on Twitch here. Oh. Oh, look at all the emotes. How cute. Everyone's so excited. This is really exciting. I'm very excited. This is okay. I'm I'm glad I stayed up now. All my suffering is worth it. Yeah, we just watched live. We just finished watching it. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm the most excited for. I want to say honestly, just the Archon Quest update. I would say like, oh, I'm excited for Farina's story quest, which I am. Don't get me wrong, and the new boss for sure, but. At the end of the day, I'm so excited to see where this Archon quest is going to go. I thought like Sumer, I was like, wow, this is so good. This <gasps> Dave, thank you so much for the raid. Hello, everyone. Welcome to stream. How are you? I don't think she's going to die. I don't know. They haven't killed anyone yet. They only kill NPCs. We'll have to see. I'm so excited, Dave. How about you? How did your stream go? Thank you so much for sharing your community. 
I do really quickly want to do like a little baby wrap up just for just for the gals on YouTube because I'm going to have to highlight this entire thing and then upload it all to YouTube. So YouTube, thanks so much for watching. I will be streaming this update when it goes live. I've decided just now because I'm going to want that boss for Farina. So I will be here on the 8th, ready to party. Um, hope you'll join me. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. There's a lot of fun, exciting content to expect. So I hope we can experience it together.